No lecture is complete without a conversation about testes. So look at our testy interaction. The hypothalamus produces gonadotropin-releasing hormone, which tells Aunt Pitt to make LH, luteinizing hormone, which tells the testes to make testosterone. The more testosterone you have, that actually feeds back negatively to the testes and says, whoa, 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 man, too much testosterone, no me gusta. It also feeds back to Aunt Pitt, please, no more LH, please, we do not need any more testosterone. And it feeds back to the hypothalamus, whatever you do, do not make more testosterone. <clears throat> the interesting thing is that we have only two hormones to look at here. We're going to look at testosterone. One of our rats is going to get a dose of testosterone, and one of our rats is going to get a dose of LH. And we're going to look at what we would expect to see. First of all, I'm just going to tell you this straight up and down on the reel. We are not going to affect thyroid, adrenal, or thymus in any of these. So let's just go straight across in all of these guys. We're not going to affect this stuff. Do you agree with this? We are possibly going to have some pituitary action. So I'll leave that open. Now, here's the other thing that I'm going to tell you. We have two rat flavors. We have intact rats who have their testes, and we have castrate rats, which they lost their testes. Where'd they go? Why you got to misplace your testes like that? Come on. So these guys have no testes, which means are their testes going to be affected by adding testosterone? They don't have any testes. How about these guys? The castrate rats that got treated with LH, are they going to have testy action? They don't have any testes because they're castrate. All right, so you cool so far? Let's see what kinds of things we are going to have to deal with here. Obviously, testes, let's think this through. If, hmm, how should we start with this? Let's, let's go ahead and start with an intact rat dealing with testosterone. So imagine, here I come, I'm adding massive amounts of testosterone. Someone should, like, slap me because, really, do we really want to do that to anybody, even if it is a rat? No. But testosterone is going to feed back negatively to who? our testes. So we are actually going to expect that because we have all this testosterone, we're going to feed back and our testes should shrink. This is why you do not do anabolic steroids because anabolic steroids basically are testosterone and they feed back on your testes and your testes shrink. Stop smoking and don't do steroids. Stop smoking, well, focus. Your testes are going to shrink, but you have massive amounts of testosterone. And so anything else that's affected by testosterone, such as the prostate gland or the seminal vesicles, these are actually going to increase in size. Does that make sense? Because the testes are directly, testosterone comes back and says to the testes, we don't need any more, please get smaller. And the testes say, I do anything that testosterone tells me to do. And so they will get smaller. But the prostate is affected by testosterone, and it will get bigger, and the seminal vesicles are affected by, by testosterone, and so they will get bigger, too. Um, your body weight, what happens to your body weight when you do anabolic steroids, which is basically testosterone? Yeah, that's the whole point of it. Is it worth it? No. But they are getting, like, their body increases in size. Is this going to be different with a castrate rat, a rat who doesn't have testes to feed back on in the first place? Are we going to see anything different? I'm going to argue that no, because who cares if we don't have testes? If we did have testes, they just would get smaller. But we still are going to increase the size of our other organs, and we're still going to get bigger. All right, let's see what happens with our LH situation. In this case, are you ready for this? Now I'm going to do it in a different color. <coughs> now we've added mad LH. 
talk to me right now. If I'm adding LH, what's going to happen to my testes? What? They're going to get huge. I don't know. Never mind. Let's not talk about testy size. My gigantic testes because I added all this LH. Meanwhile, those, the LH is telling my gigantic testes to make massive amounts of testosterone. So all of that is going to feed back and do the same thing that we had with the other ones, including being a massive body weight. Now, I don't know. Oh, I love this. What's going to happen with my castrate rat? Look, do castrate rats have testes? No, no, no. And so are we going to be able to produce testosterone? No, no, no. So really, like, what happens here? Do we have, can, we, can you read this? Do you know what I'm trying to say? This is me saying, what the hell? I'm going to say no change. No change on any of that. I'm not going to see an increase. I'm not going to see a decrease. Those guys are just testosterone free every now and then. It's a good way to go. And they're not going to change anything at all because there's no testosterone affecting them. Now, let's go back and think about our friend, the pituitary gland, because I forgot that guy up there. Pituitary gland. Pituitary gland. Aunt Pitt. If we have massive testosterone, what are you going to expect is going to happen to, oops, here's Aunt Pitt. What are you going to expect to happen to Aunt Pitt? Dude, she's going to decrease in size. The castrate one doesn't have testes. There again, what's going to happen to Aunt Pitt if we don't have any testes to produce? Oh, but we're producing massive testosterone anyway, and the testosterone is what feeds back. So I'm going to argue that we probably are going to see a decrease in Aunt Pitt even though we don't have any testes. Um, I'm putting a question mark by that because for some reason I don't have it filled out in my chart, and I'm wondering if there was some brilliant insight that I had when I filled out my chart. All right, LH. Dude, there's testosterone all over this mug because we've got massive testes. So I'm hoping that you are cool at this point that, yeah, we're going to feed back negatively to our pituitary gland, whether we are castrate or intact. Don't you hope you're intact? All right. There you have it, my friends. That is what we're going to expect. Now, I have one more piece of this for you. And really, this last piece is like the rah-rah for coming to class because I just did all the work for you. I didn't do all the work for you. You did it for yourself, didn't you? You totally thought it through. If you tell me that I did it for you, we're not going to be friends anymore. You did it.